Welcome back to the signing day special here for Indiana State Football here on Facebook Live. I'm Luke Martin alongside now defensive coordinator Brad Wilson. Coach Wilson, good to see you. Now you can you can relax a little bit now, right? <laughs> that you got all 26 guys in. A, a, a little bit, a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. So no, it's 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 been a fun process, you know. I mean, I think that when you when you look back to, to how this whole thing started and the vision and the plan with you know uh, Coach Mallory and, and and Kevin Abrams and Adam Dennison and Craig, you know, it, it's been. It's been a, a, a fun process. It's been, a, you know, stressful at times, but, uh, you know, it's all, all well worth it today. You mentioned just the process. I mean, just describe how long of a process this is and, and sometimes the difficulty of it and, and why you have guys like Kevin Abrams and Adam Dennison and Craig Smith to really help facilitate that because you guys are doing a good at this amount of recruiting even during the season when you're worried about your sure. current team. Sure. Well, from an organizational standpoint, it's something that, you know, behind the scenes, a lot of people are just unaware of, 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 of what actually goes on and, and uh, the plan that has to be put in place in, in terms of, from a number standpoint, what you're looking for, what your, what your profile is um, academically, athletically, um, you know, trying to, to fit a scheme and recruit to a scheme. Uh, which I feel like we've done a great job of, and, and, and making sure that everybody's on the same page and understands what the uh, what that process is, and 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 like you said, it, as as you go through it, you're looking for a certain type of individual that fits your profile uh, off the field. That's going to be a great fit here at Indiana State University as a, as a student, and then obviously what we're looking for on the field and and to bring in and add to the culture that we're that we're building here. What about this class defensively wise? makes you believe you're able to accomplish those things and, and what you wanted in building that culture? Well, as we always say, everything starts up front. And, and the, you know, the, the young men that we were able to, to, to line up today um, increased some size, some athletics, athleticism, some power, and, and just overall playmaking ability there. I mean, when you look at a, a you, you go to a place like Centerville, Ohio, and, and uh, you know, you're able to get a guy like a Dylan Holler who comes from a great program, tremendous amount of success down there. Um, go up to Simeon in Chicago, and, and Tier Turner is is an unbelievable player that's going to bring some size and athleticism for us inside. And then Phillips Saycock. I mean, the 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 way that 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 whole thing started with with us building a relationship with him, and and the amount of trust that had to be uh, put into that process. And 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 we're excited to to get him here. He'll be here shortly. We'll get him to work, and, and no question, going to bolster the. The, you know the athleticism and playmaking ability up front. So were that, that's to, where it starts. Were you able to go to Finland at all? <laughs> no, I was. I was not. Never been there. Uh, so we'll uh, we, we did, did not have a home visit in Finland. No. I, I really thought Coach Abrams would put that in the recruiting budget, but may, maybe at some maybe for the next class, yeah, you go somewhere that, that, international. Did, didn't work that one out. <laughs> didn't this time. work no, out that one no, this year. So. Uh, overall, though, as you guys continue to move forward, just with this class, you mentioned the strength up front. What else about this class do you like that where it goes into your scheme? And you mentioned you obviously recruit to a scheme, but why you got guys that you're like, you know, I know these guys can make an impact as soon as they get here, uh, whether some of those guys may be in the spring, but ultimately when the majority of them get here in the fall. Well, to go on to the to the second level there, you look at linebacker and, and you know, Jonathan Moffitt's a young man out of Wald Lake Western, another very successful program over there in Michigan, uh, played in the state championship game last year, had a great amount of success this year. And as we've told him, you know, there's you, you've never found a great defense without a great Mike linebacker. And, and, and we feel like his leadership ability and, and just how important football is to him is a is a great testament to that program and what we're getting with Jonathan and then Johnny May obviously anytime you can go out and find a coach's kid um, who gets it you know understands the importance of preparation and year-round training and and just having a love for the game and and, and you know Johnny's a smart football player who is going to bring that that you know to, to, to our defense there at the linebacker position and then as you look in the back end the number one thing that we knew we had to increase there was our size our speed and our length and, and I think we're able to do that with the four young men that are, that are going to come and be a part of it with, you know, Jake Bain from, from John Burroughs over there in Missouri. And you, you look at, uh, you know, Dwayne Thompson, another very successful program, you know, with Ron Bellamy over there in West Bloomfield, played for a state championship this year. Um, I mean, that was a, a, a big driving force for us to, to be able to bring him in. And, and, you know, and then when you also think about bringing in a guy like a Caleb Newman who, who is an, another big 6'1", 6'2", corner with great length that can run um, and is extremely competitive. I, I think that, that those were the three things that stood out the most about, about, all, the, uh, about all three of those guys. 
and 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 then not only do you do you find the best high school programs in the Midwest to be able to, to go find these guys from, but you look at the it, you know the junior college ranks and a, and a team coming off of a national championship in East Mississippi and Denzel Bonner coming from there, uh, going to increase our size and athleticism uh, at safety with him. Obviously, is a is a tremendous leader. We've got a great relationship down there with those guys and, and really trust um, you know what they've done with him and how they brought him along up to this point so but I think that you know with again with all four of those guys when you look at all the the, the physical attributes and, and everything that they do on film then you look at getting to know them as people and and you and you see the importance of earning a degree you see the importance of of competing every single day and, and how much they love football and and, and that's going to go a long way for us you know brought up with coach Eklinski too you guys haven't necessarily even been here for a full year yet, calendar year, but can you sense on the recruiting trail that there's a lot of excitement about this program? I and mean, when you bring them on campus, you show them the Barrett Lounge here behind us. Mm -hmm. You think of the new lights. We were able to have Memorial Stadium. going to be a new turf next year. There really is, it seems like, a lot of positive energy building about this program being shown <coughs> tangibly here on, here on campus. But can you sense that when you go out to the recruiting trail that Sycamore football is really building an excitement brand? Absolutely. A anytime that you go into a place and, and, and your leader's a, a, a guy and, you know, like Kurt Mallory, who the things that we have a chance to represent here, um, you know, that gets our foot in the door initially because of the relationships that he's been able to build himself over the years uh, in all these places that we've gone to across the Midwest, down south, out west, whatever it may be. And then as we go in there, I think that the biggest thing that they see is that there is a process that we're gonna that, that, that we're gonna follow. We're, we are gonna be upfront and honest, and and we're gonna in the end we're gonna take care of, of, of those guys and, and make sure that you know what they see is what they get, and they know that when they come here they're gonna have an opportunity to have success. Coach Wilson, congratulations on the success of this signed day class, and like I told Coach Heck. Sooner or later, I'll be bugging you again out of spring ball. Absolutely. Can't <laughs> wait. Thanks, Luke.